Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going over some cylindrical shell problems. Alright, these are going to be the easier problems, the intro problems. Alright, they're going to get you comfortable with cylindrical shells so you can do the harder difficulty problems. Alright, so we got our first question up here. Find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis, the region bounded by y equals the cube root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 1. So, starting off, we know that we can draw our graph. All right, that's really the starting point for a lot of problems, just drawing that graph out, all right? And it's going to help you a lot here. So we have our y equals so cube root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 1. So we know we have this little region uh, right here. All right, we can call that, let's call it region R, whatever. Um, so now, we know our region, we know we're rotating it about the y-axis. We can't, we can't use disk method um, we might be able to use washer method somehow, but it's just so much easier to just use cylindrical shells for this problem. So let's write down our formula for cylindrical shells. We have the volume, uh, equals the integral from A to B of two pi R times the height times delta R. Okay. We have the circumference times the height times the thickness. So. Since we're rotating about the y-axis, which is a vertical line, we're going to be integrating with respect to x, okay? So, we're going to be integrating with respect to x from where to where, okay? What, what's our bounds here? Well, our region spans from x equals 0 to x equals 1. How I know this is x equals 1? Because this was the graph x equals 1, okay? So my x-coordinate there is going to be 1. So we're integrating from 0 to 1 of 2 pi. What's our radius going to be? And what do I even mean? Our radius of what? Well, remember, we're forming a bunch of small cylinders, okay? And we're finding the volume of each, and we're adding it up by taking the integral, okay? So what we're doing here is we're, like, let's say we're going to be cutting this region, all right, we're cutting it vertically, and each one of these little pieces that I've cut off are going to be rotated around the y-axis, okay, and we're going to get a volume for that. And now we need to find what the radius of that cylinder would be, okay? And the radius of that cylinder is going to be from here, right, the origin, to wherever I'm at. So let's say this one, okay? That distance is x, right? That distance is just x, wherever it is on, whatever your x-coordinate is, that's the distance because you're starting at the origin okay so that distance is x that's your radius okay think of your cylinder right halfway of your cylinder is going to be to the origin that distance is going to be x now what's your height your height right your height of this cylinder is going to be this distance which is y but what is that y i mean what, what, like, how are you going to express that y in terms of x? Well, since you have an equation right here that's telling you that, because you're going up to that equation, right? That's y equals the cube root of x. So, we need to express y in terms of x. That's the cube root of x. Let's put that in there. And our thickness, our delta r, that's going to be dx. Okay, now, that was the hardest problem. We're just going to uh, integrate and get our answer. So, we get 2 pi the integral from 0 to 1 of, we have a x times a x to the 1 third, that's going to be x to the 4 thirds, and we have a dx here. Okay, so now we're going to actually get to integrate 2 pi times, this is going to be x to the 7 thirds, so we bring a 3 sevenths out front. All right, and that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 1. That 0 term is just going to kill off the, the x, kill off everything in there. Um, and the one term is going to give you a 1 to the 7 thirds, and that'll give you 3 sevenths. But I'll write that out so you can see that. Volume equals 2 pi times 3 sevenths uh, times 1 to the 7 thirds uh, minus 3 sevenths 0 to the 7 thirds. All right, this term goes away. Uh, the 1 basically goes away, and you're left with a volume equals 2 pi times 3 over 7, and that equals uh, 6 pi over 7. All right, so 
for these cylindrical shell problems, make sure you can just imagine what your cylinder is going to look like, okay? Then it's a lot easier to find your radius and your height, which honestly are probably the hardest part of cylindrical shells. All right, so that does it for the first problem. All right, so now we have our next problem up on the board. Find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the x-axis, the region bounded by xy equals one, x equals zero, y equals 1, and y equals 3. So first, let's just graph what this region is going to be. Then we can figure out how we're going to integrate using cylindrical shells. So I'll draw my graph. Let's draw it a little bit bigger this time so you guys can see. Um, this graph, okay, well, x, y equals 1. I don't even know what that looks like. Well, if you just divide by x on both sides, that's y equals 1 over x, right? So this graph, x, y equals 1, divide by x on both sides this is y equals 1 over x what does y equals 1 over x look like well that's just going to be something like that that's a graph that you should know so we have x equals 0 we have y equals 1 and we have y equals 3 so we get our region here that's our region r okay and we have to rotate that about the x-axis Okay, so since we're rotating about the x-axis, okay, we're rotating about a horizontal line, we're going to be integrating with respect to y this time. All right, so let's bust out our equation here. We have the integral from, what well, we have volume equals the integral from a to b of 2 pi r h, and this is going to be times dy this time. All right, so we know we have dy there. Might as well already substituted that, that in. So what's our bounds going to be here? We have the integral from a to b. Well, our lower bound is right here, that's 1, and our upper bound is 3, all right? And I know that because our equations was y equals 1 and y equals 3. Great. So now we have that 2 pi, and now we need to find our radius. So our radius, think about what's happening here, okay? We have our cylinders being formed this way, okay? We have these little cylinders and each piece is being rotated about the x-axis. So what's that radius going to be? Well, that's gonna be the distance from your little cylinder, right, to the origin, right? And that's gonna be y, okay? That's, the distance is going to be y. So we got our y right here, okay? So that's basically it, right? There, there's nothing more to that, honestly. Um, and you're always going to see if you're if you're rotating about x or y, your radius is already is always going to be x or y. Okay, if you're rotating about a different line like y equals two, which we'll get into in other videos, um, then your radius is not anymore just x or y. Now your height, your height is going to be since we're integrating with respect to y this time, your your height is going to be this horizontal distance, right? It's going to be the distance from the axis of revolution to your um, to your graph, okay, or, you know, your other bound, whatever you're, you're talking about, um, and that height is going to be x, y equals 1, but we need that in terms of uh, y, okay, so if we have x, y equals 1 here, we divide by, um, yes, we divide by y on each side, we get this in terms of y, and we get x equals 1 over y, so we can just substitute in a one over y. We get our dy. We get that the volume is equal to two pi, the integral from one to three of dy. Okay, that y and the one over y are just going to become one. So we integrate this, this is the, one of the easiest uh, integrals uh, to integrate here. We get two pi times y evaluated from one to three. So we get volume equals two pi times three minus one which is just four pi. All right, so the only trick with this one is now we're integrating with respect to y because we're revolving around a horizontal line. So the radius was now y and the height was now our function, but in terms of y and not x, and that was one over y. Okay, so that does it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.